Hi everyone. Today I'm gonna present about CCTV. CCTV it is a form of surveillance. So first of all, we have to understand what is surveillance. Surveillance is the process of paying sustained or close attention to a group of people or any individual for a specific purpose. This may sound hard to understand. So for better understanding, surveillance is the monitoring of behavior many activities or information for the purpose of information gathering, influencing, managing, or directing. This can include observation from distance by means of electronic equipment such as closed circuit television or CCTV, which I'm gonna focus on my presentation. Now, Let's talk about the first reference of the modern surveillance ethics. Jeremy Bentham was the first person who founded the concept of surveillance ethics in 1995. This is Panopticon. Jeremy Bentham gave the idea of Panopticon, which was a prison surrounded by the walls and buildings, and there was a tower in the middle, where the prison supervisors used to monitor prisoners. Through not knowing when they were under surveillance, Bentham argued that the prisoner would come to assume that they were always under surveillance. This would encourage them to be self-disciplined and well-behaved during their incarceration. So let's compare the Panopticon case to the CCTV case. <coughs> it's like when you see the CCTV, Camera. You don't you do not know that you are watching by who or you do not know that the footage is gonna use for what purpose. So you have to behave yourself and yes, it's like you are in the panopticon that you are always watched by someone. London is often called the CCTV capital of the world. The city is home to hundreds of thousands of CCTV cameras and the Average Londoner is caught on CCTV 300 times a day. We can say with some certainty that London is one of the most heavily monitored cities in the world. But putting an exact feature on the number of CCTV cameras is much trickier. London CCTV is a mixture of government surveillance, business security, and private home CCTV system owned by individuals. Different types of CCTV are locked in different ways and some don't even need to be registered. There is a theory that mass CCTV causes chilling effect on people. Chilling effect is the suppression of free speech and legitimate forms of dissent among a population because of fear of repercussion. For example, you want to speak out or go out protest against government, but on your second thought, you also know that if you go out and do the protest, your action may be recorded by Camilas, and government can use that footage of you as evidence against you. As a result, the fear of being imprisoned or noticed by government make you keep your head down and avoid speaking out. This, this is called shilling effect. The areas of life most impacted by surveillance are privacy, trust, and autonomy. Let's start with privacy. One of the core arguments against surveillance is that it poses a threat to a privacy, which is of value to the individual and to society. As our information is corrected, our, our privacy is reduced. <coughs> Next is trust. As our information is corrected, we have to trust the surveillance. Surveillance can use our information for his or her personal gain. Lastly, autonomy. Surveillance limits the opportunity to present oneself in the manner of one's own choosing. It is hence limiting the individual autonomy, impacting how that individual interacts with the world. The 
The purpose of surveillance is probably the most fundamental ethical question that can be asked on this subject. And the most obvious response is security. Surveillance is used primarily for security purposes. It is used in preventing and investigating a crime. Security isn't the only use of surveillance, however. Many retail establishments use surveillance for the mutual benefit of themselves and their customers. For example, in a retail space, a surveillance system enhances a customer shopping experience. You can always monitor and observe the behavior of different clients. As a result, it will be easier to create a shopping platform where clients feel valued and confident when they are shopping. What's more, you can enhance the quality of your products based on client conversation captured by the CCTV. Finally, there is the possibility of using surveillance for personal gain. This might be financial or emotional reasons. For example, you can place a CCTV camera to monitor your pets. When you are away from home and miss your pet, you can use those cameras to watch your pet. Let's talk about the benefit of using CCTV in business. Of course, it's to prevent crime. If you are worried about crime, cameras can not only catch criminals in the act, but, they, but the really present of CCTV system can make a would-be criminal think twice about wrongdoing. Next, it can be useful evidence. If a crime is committed in or around your business, and the person accused for, of committing the crime was caught on camera. You got an extra piece of evidence for a court case. Next is protect your staff. CCTV, CCTV can protect your staff physically against violence from customer. At the same time, it can also protect them against false accusation, perhaps coming from colleagues or even clients and customer. Moreover, it increases customer confidence. Banks or shops equipped with the CCTV cameras give the customer a sense of security and safety. The customer feels secure and this enhances the customer confidence. Lastly, it encourages employees' good behavior. Having a CCTV camera inside office may help in creating discipline among the employees and it can help them become more productive. So for conclusion, is CCTV unethical? For me, it is ethical if there is an obvious purpose of using it. And it must be ensured that no third party can eavesdrop on sensitive information. And of course, there can be a situation where people who are monitoring the footage take wrong advantage of any incident for their own benefit. So the authority to monitor others must be given to like people. Lastly, in my opinion, if you are not doing anything wrong and just my CCTV, then you don't have to anything to worry about. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you.